A planet eerily similar to Earth has been discovered about 300 light years away. Its name is Kepler 1649c, an abnormal world almost identical in size and temperature to Earth. Originally missed by NASA's Kepler mission, this planet was later rediscovered by AI. In a twist of irony, it was a machine, not a human, that spotted this potential second Earth. Kepler 1649c orbits in the habitable zone, a sweet spot where liquid water could exist. Its host star is a red dwarf, much smaller and cooler than our Sun. But that star's lifespan? Measured in the hundreds of billions of years, far longer than our own Sunday. Which means, if life exists there, it could outlast humanity by an unimaginable margin. What's even more fascinating, a year on Kepler 1649c lasts just 19.5 Earth days. This suggests it's extremely close to its star, and likely tidally locked. Tidal locking means the same side always faces the star, just like the moon with Earth. One side burns in perpetual daylight, while the other freezes in endless night. That would make only the twilight zone, the narrow line between light and dark, potentially habitable. And in that dim, eternal dusk, strange life might be lurking, hidden in the shadows. Think about it, creatures evolved in a world of half-light, adapted to survive where fire meets frost. Their biology could be unlike anything we've ever imagined. But the most chilling part? It resembles Earth too closely. So much so that some scientists wonder, has a civilization already risen and fallen there? What if relics of a lost world lie buried in that twilight zone, beneath layers of alien dust? What if Kepler's 1649c is a mirror of our own future? Or maybe, right now, a being just like you is staring up at the sky, and wondering if anyone else is out there. Could there be another Dr. Poyo on Kepler 1649c, watching us from afar? Would they fear us? Welcome us? Or pity us for what we've done to our world? And if they are out there, are we really alone on this only Earth? Would you want to travel to Kepler 1649c? Or is it just a little too terrifying to imagine? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, because in this vast universe, even our questions might echo across the stars.